Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back for some more Icewind Dale 2 with the Enhanced Edition mod. So, in the last episode we have reached this area, uh, which I believe is the starting point for us to go to the Underdark. From what I remember, I think from Nim, he told us that there was a... I can't remember what he called this, a convent, a, a church, something like that, to the left. So I guess this is the way forward. We cleared out this entire cave. We even had a message. Do I still have it? Ah, no, because I was trying out the level ups. Uh, but yeah, we killed a lot of enemies. And there's still a door here that I want to explore. In any case, our character leveled up. So I was seeing what I wanted to pick. And these level ups are actually quite quick and easy. Uh, Fighter 13, just spread the skills. Done. Same thing for Patricia, level 13 cleric. But this means we have access to level 7 spells. It's pretty cool. And Mr. Cordum, level 13 sorcerer. A lot of skill points that we rarely use. And we have a choice here. Now, in the previous level, I picked this one up. Greater Missile Storm, which honestly I am regretting quite a lot because this... This sucks! This, this honestly sucks. It's really not that good. Uh, spell stuff would have been a better choice, honestly. Uh, maybe just for the fun of it. Because this looks like a fun spell and it might be useful. This one looks like a fun spell but it really isn't and it's not useful at all. Uh, actually, wait, now that I think of it... Maybe with Empower Spell, this could be a great spell. Okay, so something for the future. <laughs> um, in any case, uh, I think I'm just going to take Mass Haste here. Because Mass Haste is something that's always going to be useful for us. Uh, and uh, Jan Janssen does not have access to Mass Haste, at least not yet. So this is the one that I'm going to be picking here. And done. So level ups were very quick. In terms of the spell selection for Miss Patricia, we have a bunch of spells here. Honestly, I did not know most of them. Stuff like Reanimate, Omnipresence, Power Word Heal, which sounds amazing. It has a casting time of zero. Sight of the Caster, not even a touch spell, instantly heals a creature to their maximum hit points. Cures poison, disease, blindness, deafness, um, feeble mindedness, intoxication, bleeding. This is broken. <laughs> this is broken, in my opinion. I love it. Um, we also have some offensive spells like Destruction. Blasphemy is like a, a high powered Holy Smite, but it only affects non evil creatures, which, <laughs> you know. It's one of the downsides of playing evil in games such as these. Most of your enemies are evil, so using something that doesn't affect them, it's not going to be very effective. <laughs> Greater Shield of Lathander sounds cool. It only lasts for 3 rounds though, so I don't want to take my, my first level 7 spell for this effect. Impervious Sanctity of Mind is a spell I love using in Baldur's Gate with the Ice Windification mod, which brings in the Ice Windale spells into Baldur's Gate, some of them, not all. And this one is something that lasts for a long time, so 10 rounds per level. And will uh, protect me against Charm, Command, Confusion, Dominate, Fear, Feeble Mind, Hold, Sleep, Hopelessness, and any psionic attack directed at the caster. So it's a pretty cool spell to have. And honestly, I think it's the one that I'm gonna take. Either this one or Heal. Yeah, heal. This seems broken, so I want to play with it. <laughs> In terms of domain, we have the Modern Kind of Sword, which is a pretty cool uh, summon, uh, because this weapon, just like in Baldur's Gate, is something that... Well, actually, I, I'm not sure if it works the same way here. So wait, can... Meh, despite the fact it's held in the hand, it can hit creatures anywhere within the sight of the caster. Oh, in the hand? This sword has a bonus to attack equal to the caster's level and damage its targets for 3d6 plus 3 points of damage. 
It is considered a plus three weapon, so it can damage creatures normally resistant to damage from lesser magical weapons. Okay. Never mind. This does not work like in Baldur's Gate. It's completely different. <laughs> this is a sword that you wield. It's not a summon. Okay. That's actually... <clears throat> that's actually interesting. Although I don't have a proficiency in... In swords. Eh, okay. And then we also have Tensor Transformation, which is pretty much similar to what you have in Baldur's Gate. It just buffs up your character to have more martial prowess at the cost of not being able to cast spells. And, you know, again, not being able to cast spells... Eh, it's kind of gonna, uh, gonna kill a cleric. This doesn't give me extra attacks per round. If it did, I might consider it, but it's not the case. Uh, but still, I think it's better than more than kind of sword. I'm gonna take this. You know, maybe sometime I want to send Patricia in to kind of hit somebody really hard, and you know, maybe that will be useful. And I'm going to take True Strike instead of Chant. Uh, I'm thinking that in in 9 seconds, which I think is the duration of a round, Corgan can do a lot of damage. So that, that's why my my thought process there. Okay. Uh, okay, an additional level 5 spell and also level 6 spell. So, for level 5, we are currently underground, so I'm not going to be taking Call Lightning. I am either going to take Chaotic Commands, Greater Command also isn't bad. Oh, I, I, I took this out. Yeah, okay, this one. Righteous Wrath of the Faithful, that's what I want. And for level 6, I have Divine Shell, I have Heal, maybe another Circle of Blades. Because we have been fighting a lot of, um, you know, multiple enemies at a time. So this is my choice. It's done. What? Quick save. Can I rest? <clears throat> I... I still cannot rest. Okay. So, I am going to explore this door on the... What, what are you guys doing? <laughs> they were stuck. I'm gonna explore this door to the northeast, and then we're gonna go over there. I really hope I can rest sometime soon, because I don't have a lot of spells. The enemies in here aren't very threatening, but still, they can kill you. Ooh. Are these eggs? They look like eggs. Wait. Wait, what? Orc Slave Soldier. Zug Zug. <laughs> uh, you'll need mining tools to clear this cave in. Err. Okay. Okay, so apparently there are, there are Orc Slaves talking up there. And my only way up there is through here, so I guess we have to go there. Oh, I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I can simply go up and rest. <laughs> this was something I forgot about in the previous episode. Let us go up, let's take a nap. I have no more coffee. Done. Okay, let's go back down. Come on, guys. Thank you. Is that all? So thus far, I think we still have a way to go back to the battle arena if we so choose to. Okay, and before we get in here, yes. uh, because everybody's hitting the growling, right? Not just me. <clears throat> Let's have some buffs going on. Protection from evil. Barud Barzam. Okay. Let's see if I can have uh, 
call them to go in front in case we can talk to that named guy. I'm here. Yeah, okay, so Durgar for sure. They are uh, ranged characters. And we have a bunch of slaves. Okay. I'm feeling kind of scared to have Cordant in the front, so let's cast a mirror image here. Wait, wait, wait. but I, I still want him in the front. Let's try and be diplomatic with whomever we find in this area. Hello. Koptichi. There are outsiders here. Oh, wait, Dark... Gab the Slave Master. Maybe it's this guy. You! Quickly! Tell me, how did you make it past the gate? Well, we've... Oh, so the key... Okay, we found this key on a corpse of a Durgar to the south east. <laughs> Apparently that opens this up. We found the key in the caves below. Bah! I was a fool to trust an ore to recover it. Nargo, where is Oti? Bring him here. Burak Rak Haman Han, Urka Dargab, Ota Ota. Dead by Hook Beast yesterday. <laughs> Oti has great fortune. He is better off in a Hook Beast's gullet in my hands. And Nargo, no more filthy orc tongue. Speak Durgar or common, or I will break your teeth. <laughs> I like this guy. Uh, yes, Master Dargab. Forgive, forgive. So, I am Dargab. Tell me. Why are you here? Hmm. Well, let's let's just tell him. We're looking for a passage to the Underdark. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I understand. The Far Eastern Passage is blocked. Speak to Barul Barzam. He is the leader here. Ask about mining equipment. You will have need of it. Okay, and who are you? I am charged with the outpost's defense. I oversee Barut's troops as well as my personal slave soldiers. These orcs that you see here. Slave soldiers? <laughs> yes. Make no mistake, outsider. These are no ordinary orcs. I have rigorously trained each of them in the arts of battle myself. Uh, I think this is going to lead me to a fight. Which I think I will want to do later. What can you tell me about this place? I am not here to help you or answer your questions. Go and speak to Barud. Farewell then. Wait. While you are here, I will be watching you closely. Do not meddle in our affairs. If you wander the outpost, stay away from the dungeons. There is nothing you want to see there. Now go. Yeah, you're pretty much telling me to, to go and look at the dungeons. Wait, who is this guy? Oh, Dargab, okay. Durgar Cleric. There's a lot of people in this room. It's a good spot for a, an acid storm right here. The shield of this dour-faced dwarf statue is emblazoned with a broken crossbow bolt. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not going to pick a fight right here in the middle. I want to fight here. If we come to a fight. Which I think we will. We have... Oh, is this the guy? Barud Barzam. Yes, it is. Arhord Dorm. Durgar Warrior. Okay, let's try and talk to him. Sunlanders, hmm? I am perplexed that Dargab allowed you to pass, but so be it. I trust his judgment. My name is Barud Barzam. I am the commander of this complex. You are? I'm Cordant. Dargab said to ask you about mining tools. Mm -hmm. Ah, of course, you are traveling to the east towards the monastery. There is a storage room off this hallway. You will find mining tools in the crate there. We intended to clear the passage soon enough. Take the tools and consider them our payment for your work. Thanks. I had some questions. Not so quickly, outsider. That is... Uh, that is one deal between us. Perhaps you would agree to another. 
To recapture this complex entirely, we must clear the surrounding caves of monsters. Ah. Uh... <clears throat> Maybe that's why we got the message saying that we killed the last of the... of the enemies. What's the reward? Monetary wealth, arms and armor, all of the finest Dwargar craftsmanship. You have my word that you will not be disappointed. We'll do it. Excellent. Most excellent. There is a revolting menagerie of beasts lurking throughout these caves. Return when the last of them is dead for your reward. Okay, let's hold off on this for now. What can you tell me about this place? It was founded more than 150 years past by a Duergar expedition. A cleric led them, and thus the shrine to Ladugwer. This was little over a decade before that wretched Black Raven monastery was built. Go on. The monks were quick to seize control of the Underdark Passage, justifying their actions with doubtful tales of significance to their founder. When the few Duergar here made to oppose the monks, they were slaughtered. After the monks butchered the small garrison force, the outpost was sealed and the Underdark Passage barred with an iron gate. However, the Duergar neither forgive nor forget. And we have returned. I'm liking this so far. But the monks are many and strong. Our victory would require cunning. Our ability to become as shadows allowed us to secretly pass through the gate and monastery and retake this outpost from a pack of mangy orcs. One moment, become as shadows? Yes, to fade from sight, to become invisible. The wards of Ladugwer have developed many abilities during our centuries in the darkness. Abilities taught forever lost to us by our less intrepid kin. Go on then. This complex will soon form a strong foundation for an assault. When the time is right, we will contact another body of Duergar troops and put an end to the monastery's unjust hold on our Underdark Passage. Okay, thanks, I had some questions. Uh, never mind, farewell. Um, I'm gonna tell them that we cleared the area. My hammer is a side outsider. Have you cleared the caves below of all monsters? Yes, we left nothing alive down there. Ooh. Huh, well done. Your reward? A sack of gold and gems and an ensorcelled Durgar shield and axe. All should serve you well, outsider. Now, I offer a third and final deal between us. You clear the river caves of all monsters for Barut Barzam. This outpost and the Underdark Passage were lost to the Black Raven Monastery decades ago, but we will reclaim both. Slay the monks, outsider, and we will shower wealth and items of power upon you once more. Sure, we'll do it. <laughs> yes, excellent. When the last of those damnable monks, may darkness take the lot of them, lies dead upon the floor, return to me for your reward. Okay, farewell. <clears throat> so what did we get? <clears throat> Hopefully some cool stuff. 6,000 gold, not bad. 5 diamonds, not bad. Ooh, this is a pretty cool item. A Durgar Forged Axe plus 2. Plus 2 Enchanted Keen increases chance of scoring a critical hit. Now that's a proper weapon. There you go, Patricia, an upgrade. And the shield. Shield of Fortitude plus 2. Uh, I actually want to read the description of the weapon as well. I, 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 by the way, in case you guys don't know, I love everything about uh, Dwarven lore dwarven buildings and dwarven way of life and all that stuff and i just love it all so i want to read it <laughs> duergar master artisans forge this shield of dull gray steel invigorating energy pulses through the shield and into the wielder stealing him or her for battle <clears throat> so it's a plus four shields uh with a magical property of giving plus 15 to the max hit points of the caster of the wielder, sorry. So this, I believe, is a a pure upgrade to Patricia, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. There you go. 
And this shield should also be an upgrade for Vicky. Yes, it is. Cool. <laughs> so upgrades all around. And the axe, you're going to be happy about it. Ah, yes, I want to read the axe description. Durgar Master Artisans forged this axe of dull grey steel. Its balance is so perfect and its exceptionally sharp blade so well wrought that magic was surely used in its making. Okay. Cool, I like it. Simple but effective. Uh, we have a lot of doors here. I don't want to go anywhere I shouldn't before I complete my quests. And I want to talk to this named guy. Arhor Dorm. Huh? Who are you? You must allow me. This is Harhor Dorm, my loyal friend and aide. He does not care for outsiders and will not speak a word of the common tongue. I see. Dosh <laughs> Vira! Okay. Uh, so. Where can I go? This looks like a dungeon area, right? Let's actually send Jan in here. Okay, it's not actually trapped. Warrior... Drago Ironbreaker. What's this? Another interruption? Ladoguer, how you test me? Be gone, outsider. I'm certain that we've nothing to say to each other. Who are you? I am Dragu, the Ironbreaker, chief artisan of Barud Barzam's company. Oh, maybe he sells something. Does that state your, that state your curiosity, hmm? Now, leave me to my work. What are you working on? What am I? Ha! <laughs> like a meddling child. You've no hope of understanding the intricacies of my trade. Take my handcrafted hell bolter, for instance. A rapidly firing, self-loading heavy crossbow. Hmm. That's an impressive machine. Ha! The hell bolter is more than a simple machine, outsider. It is a work of art. Took years to design and build. Alas, it's too complex. Here, see? You likely can't even puzzle out the loading mechanism. I think I can figure it out. Huh. Oh, wait. What? Ah, okay, so it's like a... Okay, I was studying the thing. Huh, I never would have imagined it. Still, I have been working on a less complex version, one suitable for use by common soldiers, for weeks to no avail. Yeah. Perhaps I could help. Is that so? Hmm, and what would you ask in return for this help, eh? A copy of the finished weapon. Hmm, it is a deal then. Here. These are the latest set of plans. You see how the firing mechanism is wound? Now, the problem is in... Yes. What we'll need to do is remove the... Excellent! Excellent! This new Doom Bolter shall be put into production upon my triumphant return to... Graxtug. Here. This one we make... We made shall be yours, as promised. My thanks. Farewell. <laughs> Okay, pretty cool. Doom Bolter. The creation of the diabolical Duergar Master Artisan, Drago Ironbreaker. The Doom Bolter is a complex and heavy device, barely recognizable as some sort of crossbow. Its bow is of a pliant metal alloy. The tiller is covered with an array of gears, levers, springs and studs, and a, cyl a cylindrical case of hard leather and a rotating steel shaft sit along the top of the weapon. Despite this, the Doom Bolter is actually the more simple, easily produced variant of the overly intricate and expensive Hell Bolter, another of Drago's inventions. The Doom Bolter fires twice as quickly as the typical heavy crossbow, spewing a hail of quarrels from the ammunition container affixed along the tiller. So, it has a plus 4 to damage, plus 1 to attack, and it fires two attacks per round. Okay, so <laughs> it has a lot of attacks, a lot of a lot of hype, but then it's just this. Okay, it's not horrible, but I mean it's not magical either. 
I think I still prefer the one I have. Because of the spooky. 25% chance to apply the effect of the spell spook to the target. I mean, this is just straight up better than... Than two attacks per round, right? Because Jan isn't going to be doing damage with his crossbow anyway. Still, <clears throat> it's a cool pickup. It's heavy as hell. Ah, he's too far away, of course. Uh, Corgan, come help me. You can carry this weight a lot better than me. Now, what I really wanted to see... Is... Um... A merchant. I, I want to find a merchant. That's what I want. Warrior. War Can you sell me stuff? <gasps> okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, it is you again. I've begun work on my next weapon. A heavy morning star that can fire out its head on a length of chain. So flail? So unless you're here to purchase something, leave me alone. What are you selling, my friend? Ah, so we found a merchant. Nice. I'm gonna buy some bolts because I don't have any more. Oh, wow. Really? You only sell crossbow stuff? Dude. That's... That's sucky. <laughs> That's quite sucky, my friend. Uh, for how much would you purchase... A winter wolf pelt. Okay, I think this guy is buying stuff at full price, so I will sell him my stuff. Oh. Well, if we ever need money, we have a way to obtain it. <laughs> uh, the Yeti pelt. I'm gonna keep this one just in case. And I guess I can sell one of these. And that's it. Okay, sell that. Uh, gems. Okay, cool. And that's it. Okay, so... <clears throat> but I want to find a seller that actually has something like... Warhammers. That's what I really want. <clears throat> so... This has got to be the dungeon, right? Yes. Zug Zug. Are you a named orc? No, slave soldier. Yawn. Is this place trapped? Nope, not trapped. Absolutely. Okay. There are no items here. This person must have perished in terrible agony. They weren't even allowed to die with their boots on. <laughs> really? That's what matters? An Iron Maiden. It looks almost cozy in a bloody spikes driven into your face, chest and bowel sort of way. Yeah, very cozy. Another Iron Maiden. Okay, so there really isn't... Hello. A Spectre. You, you miserable Weasley bastard, you dare to come back after so long, after abandoning me to them? What are you talking about? What? What? Did you think you could just return, apologize, make amends? Look at what's become of me as a result of your cowardice, damn you. Look upon my shattered remains broken on that rack. Look at me. I'm not who you think, just leave me be. No, 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 no. There'll be no escape for you, no absolution. Your corpse will lie here beside mine forever. Uh... Dude? I... You called. All right. Okay, well, you wanna I'm fight Corgan? You'll fight Corgan. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem very difficult. 
Did I mess this up? Is he supposed to like be friendly or something? I don't get it. Uh, this doesn't look right to me. Uh, let me do something. I'm gonna talk to... Did I quick save somewhere in the past? Please tell me I did. We have a journal update. Okay, I, I did quick save before killing him, so in case this isn't supposed to happen, I'm gonna quick load. We encountered the specter in the torture chamber of the Durgar outpost. It seemed to be the anguished remnants of someone who'd been abandoned by friends and tortured to death by his captors. It mistook us for companions of old and attacked. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we're in chapter 3. Uh, okay, I, I think that's how it's supposed to go, so I'll, I'll just, I'll accept that. But the Slave Master did tell me not to go into the dungeon, so let me just see if um, he has something to say. No, okay. So, let's explore the rest of the area. Storage and warriors. Uh, as usual, I'm gonna see if any of these things count as stealing and if they go hostile, because so far there hasn't been a single occurrence of that. Yeah, they, they don't seem to care. So I'll just take everything. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so <clears throat> these were the mining tools that he was talking about. God damn it, another masterwork warhammer. Give me a proper warhammer, dude. Lovely. Ooh. A magical helmet. I shall take it. Okay, so the mining tools Corgan can take because they are heavy. Uh, Beetle Breeze I don't care about. Uh, you actually have a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. I had forgotten to um, equip the bolts and those do take up some space. These are darts. They can go over there. Go over here. Corgan. Identify. Gems. Identify. Okay. Please be good. Please be good. Helmet of defense plus two. Generic armor bonus plus three. I love it. <clears throat> this is gonna go for Patricia. There you go, my sweet. And a cool helmet for Mr. Jan Janssen. Hey! <laughs> He has a tail feather. I love it. Okay, uh, so we have our mining tools. There was also a gem in here. We're gonna give it to Corgan. And there's more stuff. So the hammer I don't care about. I think I've seen all of this. Okay. I'm also kind of guessing that the monks are probably good people. And they are probably going to give me a quest to kill the Durgar. But I think I'm going to help the Durgar and then come back to kill them. <laughs> okay, so none of these are named. These are not trapped. Excuse me? Did I mess something up? Wait, so... Wait, 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 wait. So if I open these, they get upset if I o Okay, I, I guess because they told me I could go in there. Okay. Let's let's quick load this. So this is what I'm talking about where where I mean that I don't really know 
what counts as stealing or not, because I lockpicked this chest <clears throat> and nobody cared, right? But apparently over there they care. Okay, it's fine. I, I, I genuinely don't mind quick loading uh, for this kind of effect. Uh, okay, helmet goes for Corgan, this one goes for Patricia, this one goes for Jan, this goes on the floor. Okay. So that's what we picked up over there. I still have the mining tools to pick up, which are over here, I think. Wait, what? I I'm not understanding what what's happening here. So I've done this before. What's happening? Is it because somebody saw me or something? Guys? No, I'm fine. Should I speak to them? What is it you want? Who are you? I am a warrior, blah blah blah. Thanks, farewell. <clears throat> I'm, I'm very confused. So if I pick something up... I'm, I'm not understanding. Is it because these guys are here? here I go. No. What the hell? Are we still okay? I don't understand. These are going for Corgan, this is going for Corgan. So the same thing again. Where is the... Oh, I still haven't picked it up, okay. So I'm gonna quick save. If I open this now, are you guys going to be upset? Okay, nobody's upset. Everything is fine. Right? What? We're friends? What? If you wish it. Yeah, we're friends, okay. Is it because somebody equipped the... <clears throat> the the helmet No, I think we're still okay. Okay, I I, I don't know. Maybe if some people see me it, it counts as Oh wait. These are kegs of Dark Durgar Bitter Ale, a thick, potent and foul-tasting brew known to make even the stoutest of gold dwarves grimace and disgust. Okay, I'm gonna quick save again, hopefully nothing breaks. What is this, a sacrifice chamber? This huge statue of the Durgar deity La Duguer seems to glare down upon you judgmentally. Yes. Who are you? Zama Rogadim. As you request. I am Zama Rogadim of La Duguer. You are sent here by Barud, or? Oh, she's a cleric. No, but I'm working for him. Can you help me? I will do for you only what I am told to do by Barzam. Uh, he, uh, he said to give us any material aid that you could. Oh, 
Hmm, here, I gave you these potions. If I find your words untrue, outsider, I will break your back. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, tell me about yourself. I am a bishop of Laduguer, Laduguer and advisor to Barud Barzam, leader of this complex. Tell me about Laduguer. Laduguer the Harsh is our protector and taskmaster. He taught us order and discipline, to master ourselves and others, to cast aside weaknesses like pity and mercy, to develop new abilities and forge items of fantastic power. When Laduguer turned to the shadows to seek power, his cowardly brothers abandoned him. They exiled Laduguer. If I'm mispronouncing his name, I am very sorry. I think I am, but I don't know any other way to tell it or to, to mention it. Um, from his home to the great darkness below Acheron, from where he watches over and commands us. Okay. What services does this shrine offer? Okay, normal healing stuff. What potions did you give me, lady? Okay, three healing potions, uh, whatever. What can you tell me about this place? This complex is an old Urgar outpost and shrine to Laduguer. It on uh, Okay, we've read this before. Uh, we also know this, it was the monks. Okay, tell me about yourself. Okay, we also know this. Okay, my thanks, farewell. Okay, so let's get out, get out from here. We are gonna open the passage to the Underdark. See if we can find those monks. I'm, I'm guessing, like I said previously, I'm guessing that the monks are gonna be good aligned. And they will probably tell us to kill these guys. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just thinking out loud. But I think I'll probably end the episode before opening up the path. Because it's... It's, it's about that time. <laughs> okay, so yeah. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if it's gonna be like a, a cutscene or something. Um... For breaking down the passage but we will do that in the next episode so as always guys thank you so much for sticking here with me in the channel watching some Icewind Dale 2 we <coughs> pardon me we have a clear plan of what we want to do in the next episode by breaking down uh, this passage and see if we can find those monks uh, as always if you have any questions or suggestions leave a comment below if you want to get notified about other videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.